Right now, the NBA world is simply waiting for the NBA trade deadline, and the rumors about Damian Lillard being traded, it's kind of slowed down. Damian Lillard this season has been struggling a lot. He's not living up to expectation and not playing as his former MVP self. And with the Portland Trailblazers struggling as a team right now, there are a lot of negative perspectives that Damian Lillard could be on his way out. It is no secret that Damian Lillard wants to win an NBA championship, but let's be real, playing in Portland, he's not going to get that chance and not going to get that opportunity, and we NBA fans just want to see Dame on a winning team that gives him a true chance of actually winning. As of right now, this is the biggest Damian Lillard rumor, is that NBA execs are waiting for the Blazer star to demand a move. Right now, the world, not just executives, the world is waiting for Dame to request a trade and of course, ask Portland on his way out, respectively. Dame right now is is one of the most loyal players in the NBA and has been very vocal on saying he wants to remain in Portland, but honestly, as the struggles keep piling up, I wouldn't be surprised if his mind is changed. Kevin O'Connor of The Ringer says this about Dame, Lillard goes from making these vague comments about, yeah, I don't know how long I'll be here, like weeks before the season to suddenly, I'm all in. There are front office executives around the league who think this is a strategic choice by the Blazers' Dame. Dame's group and all that in order to create leverage for the organization because right now around the league, teams just want Dame. They don't want CJ McCollum. They don't want Yusuf Nurkic. They're like, we're gonna wait for Damian Lillard to demand a trade. And for this video, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna put this demand into an existence that Damian Lillard does request a trade. And oh boy, I know the team we all wanna see Damian Lillard on. We want to see Damian Lillard go to the Los Angeles Lakers joining LeBron James and Anthony Davis. I've got a crazy trade idea that will land Damian Lillard with the Lakers. Who's excited? Let's have some fun. Let's dream a little bit here. Not only am I going to be giving you guys a Damian Lillard trade scenario, I'm going to be giving you a full mid-season blueprint during the NBA trade deadline and what I believe would be a perfect move for the Lakers to of course go for a complete championship run this season. What's going on guys? Welcome back to a very special episode of Easy Buckets. My name is Zoom and I make basketball videos every single day. So be sure to hit the subscribe button to not post notifications to not miss any of my upcoming videos. If you watched this video and you loved it, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. I greatly appreciate it. It would help with the channel a lot. Just one more announcement, my channel memberships are officially up, so of course if you're interested in having special perks for the channel, go check that out, it's going to be on my channel dashboard, all the information will be there, we'll love to see all the OGs of the channel be a part of that. But without wasting any more time, let's talk about Damian Lillard and the possibility of him getting traded. The first thing that I want to inform everybody is that the Lakers has a lot of interest in Dame. During this offseason, a fun fact to know is that LeBron James and Anthony Davis actually invited Damian Lillard over to talk about his future. This is what Dame says out of his words. LeBron asked what I was thinking with my situation and I told him what I'm telling you, that I just want to be in a position to win it all. He painted the picture to me that if I were to leave, the situation could look like this. He didn't tell me to come to LA. And he didn't say anything to me that I didn't already know other than what it could look like. I told him, I know if I were to play with y'all, I know it would work out because of my skill set and who I am and who they are. These are very important words from Damian Lillard himself because from this statement alone, you know that yes, LeBron and the Lakers are in a way trying to recruit Dame and Dame on the other hand, know that if he were to play with LeBron and Anthony Davis, they would be unstoppable. So now let's dive right in. What is the perfect blueprint for the Lakers to get Dame? I believe this is step number one and that's doing a blockbuster deal. The Lakers offering up Russell Westbrook, Talon Horton Tucker, Malik Monk unfortunately, their 2025 first round pick and their 2027 first round pick in exchange for Damian Lillard and Robert Covington. I believe this is the ideal deal that would help out the Lakers and help out the Portland Trailblazers. On the Blazers' perspective, of course this trade goes down if Dame requests a trade, and if he does request a trade, they don't want to lose him for nothing, and I believe in this deal, they get a lot of good assets in return to still be competitive and still have a future. Damian Lillard is 100% better than Russell Westbrook by far, but still, Russell Westbrook is still a superstar point guard to me and can still contribute as the starting point guard and the leader of the new Blazers. But the main part of this deal is getting four future assets to remain in Portland. That's receiving two young players of THT and Monk and two future first round draft picks, not second round, first round picks. 
The Lakers in the past have already expressed interest in THT. And of course, in this deal, they wouldn't do a Dame for Russell Westbrook swap. They're going to demand young players, and that's why THT is in this deal. Because if Dame requests a trade, the Blazers have to hit that rebuild button. On the Lakers' perspective, they get Damian Lillard. That's a simple obvious that Dame, LeBron James, and Anthony Davis, if fully healthy, are winning the championship. But of course, I like this deal also because it adds Robert Covington as a 3 and D presence and a defensive player that right now the Lakers need. Robert Robert Covington is an upgrade over Stanley Johnson and Trevor Ariza by far, and also brings in a presence at the three-point shooting, which I believe is great for Damian Lillard and LeBron James as they play make on the floor. If I'm gonna be honest, the only bad part about this deal is the Lakers having to offer up their future two first-round draft picks, which is basically all they have in the upcoming seven years, and then of course losing Malik Monk. THT makes sense, his value is there, but Malik Monk has been spectacular this year for the Lakers, and of course if they want to win a championship, they're gonna need his help, but I believe the Blazers will not do this deal if they don't get Malik Monk in return. So this is step number one, the Lakers trading for Damian Lillard, offering up Russell Westbrook. After doing this deal, I believe they're not done. They have to make one more move, and that's trading for Mo Bamba of the Orlando Magic. I believe going for Mo Bamba will give them a pure presence at the all-around factor for their team, and this will be the deal. It will be the Lakers offering up Kendrick Nunn, DeAndre Jordan, in exchange for Mo Bamba. I believe this would be a pretty good deal, as the Lakers get a player that's on an expiring contract, but young, that of course could re-sign in the upcoming offseason to an affordable deal to keep Mo Bamba around. Mo Bamba is a very popular target for the Lakers right now because he's pretty cheap and also a great option at the interior defense as he has the length and athleticism to catch the good boards, offensive boards, and block shots. The Orlando Magic are building their future around Wendell Carter Jr. He just signed an extension and of course Mo Bamba is the scapegoat and will no longer be wearing the Orlando Magic jerseys next season and that's why right now they gotta capitalize. So that's step number two. Moving on to step number three is signing the perfect player to fill out the roster because after doing steps one and steps two, they have one more roster spot available. And I believe they should sign Taco Fall, previously of the Cleveland Cavaliers. After losing DeAndre Jordan, they're gonna need at least one more big man to solidify their center and front court with Dwight Howard and Anthony Davis. And of course, if they bring in Mo Bamba, they'll have three consistent centers. But I do believe they need at least one more to develop for their future. And with Taco Fall being a very popular idea, one when it comes to size, length, and shot blocking, and decent potential, Taco Fall will be super cheap on a two-way contract or even the veteran's minimum. Step one is making a blockbuster deal for Dame, step two is getting Mobamba, and step three, getting Taco Fall. And then after those trades, this will be the Lakers' ultimate lineup. They'll have Damian Lillard to be the starting point guard, Avery Bradley shooting guard, LeBron James small forward, Robert Covington power forward, and then Anthony Davis at center. And then of course, still having a decent bench to surround their main starters and main rotation. This right here is my ultimate blueprint on the perfect Lakers midseason when it comes to getting Damian Lillard. What's most important to me is I want to know your thoughts. I want to know if you guys think this is a good idea or do you believe they should look elsewhere? Put your thoughts down in the comments below. But other than that, take it easy, God bless. And I'll see you all next time on Easy Buckets. Woo!